Okay, so one of the major issues which you might have faced while on standstill traffic is when this radiator fan kicks in, it throws a lot of hot air onto your right foot and sometimes it is unbearable. And I think the issue is, if you see here, this is the radiator fan and I think when radiator fan kicks in, it throws the air here and that air comes in contact with this exhaust pipe and it gets hotter and then it comes to our right foot which is resting here so what i think if we can wrap this exhaust pipe with some insulating material then the issue might get minimized to some extent so i have ordered this uh, silencer wrap from amazon it came with these two hose clamps but i think this will not look very good on the bike that's why I have ordered this metal zip ties. So let's install this and see if it makes any difference or not. So we'll see uh, if we can install it by just removing this some guard then it would be very easy otherwise it will be very challenging. I need to remove this uh, engine guard altogether. So you can see I am keeping the bolts in the sequence in which I am taking them out so that it would be very easy to install them back. Take the other side as well. Okay, so it fell down. That should not happen. I was not knowing that was the last bolt. So listen here, just hold it. Maybe I should also remove this uh, radiator guard. There was a spacer here. Keep it safe. Okay, so this is a radiator guard. You can see how dirty it is from the inside. Radiator is relatively clean. Now let's try to wrap it. This material is very itchy. You can see there are lots of small fibers and these are causing lots of irritation on the skin. Maybe I should be using the gloves, but right now I don't have, so there's no option. So let's try. It is very difficult to do it with this engine guard. I think I should remove this engine guard and then do it. But how to remove this engine guard? I cannot see. What about this bolt? I don't see any option to open it. This is welded here and it is from this side. <laughs> this is a much bigger task than I was thinking. This is the nut and bolt is from this side and it is not accessible. I need to remove this complete assembly. Then only we will be able to remove this engine guard. <sighs> do I have any other option? Shall I remove this? Let's try. So currently I'm trying to remove this trick cylinder or master cylinder, whatever you call. Oh, it needs a spanner. So looks like a lot of tools needed, so I brought all the spanners and this slide wrench. Nope, that's why I bought this one. I'm trying not to let it fall, so I'm holding with one hand. And yep, this whole assembly comes right out. Okay, so I bought this zip tie to just Hold it here for a moment, otherwise this will put a lot of pressure on this pipeline, right? So this will hold it and I can remove this bolt now. Man, this is so difficult. I don't know who has designed this, but this design is not good. To remove this engine guard, you need to remove the whole assembly here. Okay, this one is out. Now let's do the other side. So basically, these are at the bottom. My god, these are already very loose. So it's a good thing that I am opening it right now and I will fix those. Man, this is irritating. One is 13 and other is 14. For now, I'm just keeping them together. So you can see engine guard is removed now. So it was a quite a process, you can see. <laughs> and number of bolts and the whole assembly has to come out in order to remove this engine guard. So that was a quite challenging. Now let's try to wrap it. And for now I'm going to use this hose clamp to just fix it for some time. So this will hold it tightly and I can start wrapping it around.
Okay, now it's looking good. And I think this is done. I think this much is enough. I will just cut it from here. And for temporarily, I'm using this zip tie to just hold it. Later, I will add this hose clamp or this metal zip ties. So this looks good. Let me add the metal clips and we are done. So I think uh, we are done. I have wrapped the complete exhaust pipe here and I have added two metal zip ties here and two metal zip ties here. So I think it's not going anywhere. And the only thing remains is to reinstall all the parts which we disassembled. Okay, so these are done. Now let's install this sump card. So you can see I have reassembled everything. So radiator guard is installed, sump guard is installed and engine guard is installed. I have tightened all the bolts. I hope I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Otherwise it would be a disaster. But yeah, so that was quite a process to wrap this exhaust pipe. Okay, so that's all for this video. Hope you like this video and the process. We'll share the updates in the community post. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, wait for the updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Till then, goodbye.